So Bob, maybe you could explain to me some of the things that uh, Novatech has done to allow for a much higher level of precision in vacuum levels and controlling that because the other offerings in the industry just don't seem to be able to control the level of vacuum, especially at the, at the low end. This industry is constantly demanding that we improve the potential to hold the tube diameter tighter, more accurately. And when we're using a vacuum system, that means that we need to control the vacuum system better than ever before. So we're using the same uh, very good a regenerative vacuum blower that we've used before that has very good operational characteristics. It's very quiet. You can barely hear it running right now, matter of fact. Um, but what we did is we use a better drive on that vacuum blower. We're using a better vacuum transducer that has far, far, if not probably double the resolution as previous units. So what does that mean? It means that now with our closed loop control, we can control vacuum within plus or minus 0.01 inches of water instead of 0.1 inches, which is dramatic. So not only can we control that vacuum level more precise, um, it's, we've made it very easy for you to make very precise adjustments. Uh, we've added in your control, you, when, you, when you push the button, you actually pick the level of vacuum that you're gonna run that day. And we still have a vent valve, an automated leak system which when you pick, say, I'm gonna use this system for water uh, drool control that day, I don't wanna run any more than one inch of water, it will actually set the vent valve so the leak occurs, so the pump is running at the RPMs. We're in the sweet spot of the CFM curve. What that means is now, even if we're running a job at 0.5 inches of water, where we're holding the water from falling out of the tank, so I'm using a water drool process aid, we can control that water to stand up so the tube looks like it's going into a wall of water. So that precision will actually allow you to be able to keep more water over top of the tube, which solves another problem, where you have a differential in water temperature under the tube versus over the tube. And that's true with the vacuum process, you know, with the free extrusion process where they're not using vacuum, Typically they'd have, oh, it could be only 30 to 50 thousandths worth of water above the tube. So the water below the tube might be colder versus the water above, which could cause a concentricity issue. So again, I think what we're trying to do is not just make a similar system, but make a far more advanced, more precise system so we can help our processors make the very best precision medical tubing.